Hello, 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 my fellow Harrisburgians. This is your girl Kay from Harrisburg's Little Black, Black Book. Can't get words out today. And I have visited a new and up and coming spot. And you know, the last time I came to you, it was in the Colonial Park Mall. Uh, and this is another location in the Harrisburg um, Colonial Park Mall. And it is called Miss Cotton's Cafe. So I heard about it, a friend of mine went there and she said she was getting some food and the person in front of them was like, you know, the food was good, but the cornbread was the best. So I said, oh, let me go check it out. All right, so I got a couple of different things so that you can, you know, see how things are. Um, what I really like are her prices. They are really good. So the first thing I have here hmm, is the oxtails. This is the oxtails and rice, and it came with some cornbread. Now it's looking a little buttery. I think that's, without even tasting it, looking at the oxtails and the rice, I want you to see it good for $7. I think that's a great value. Now let's see how it tastes. <laughs> okay, so I guess I don't wanna cover you guys up. Um, but yeah, let's see here. I'm going to take a little bite. Mmm. All right, so this is some really good buttery goodness. It's warm. It's still warm. Oh, she has a little pieces of corn there inside the cornbread. So this is that old school kind. Now, <laughs> if you're watching your weight, you might not want to get this too often, but if you don't care, look at this. It's full of butter. Mm. And it's full of corn. <laughs> and it is delicious. The, my friend said the people who were in front of her, they went back just to get the cornbread. And while I was getting my food, another lady said she ordered just a full pan of cornbread. I can see why. Now, excuse me, I'm not sure if because of traveling with the foil, it caused it to be a little bit softer, which I don't mind. It's really good. But if you like your cornbread a little bit more solid, <laughs> excuse me, y'all, this is so good. I need to get my water. <laughs> but um, if you like it a little bit more solid, you may be like, mm, but it's really good. It has a little um, taste of sugar to it. It's not super sweet, um, but it's not like, you know, if some of you don't like, like, if you like cornbread that's not sweet, you might not want to get this one, but you, you could still bear it. It's not, it doesn't taste like cake. It's really good, but let me stop eating this cornbread. Let me go ahead and taste this food. <laughs> All right, so we got the oxtails and rice, and y'all see these oxtails? This is a nice little... You see, it's almost, I almost can't hold it up with my fork. It's cooked so tenderly. So let's see here. Let me go ahead and dig in a little bit. Hmm. Excuse me. Oxtails are pretty good. Let me see what it tastes with the sauce on the rice. Hmm. Hmm. It's not bad. But I wouldn't say that they are like, oh my God, I gotta have them. Hmm. But it is a good season. I would say, I would give the flavor of the oxtails, I would say about a four. They're, it's seasoned really good and it's not too salty, which is important. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just smacking, but um, hmm. It has almost like a. Mm, excuse me. Not barbecue. It's definitely not barbecue. It's more of a. Oh gosh, I can't think of the name of the sauce. Um, it's like it looks like she basically, she created her own sauce. It wasn't purchased like mixed with a bottle or anything um 
It is very tender. So you could really get through this. Um, I don't see this being a big thing that would raise your sodium. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is actually good. This is very good. Um, now, because of the amount of rice that's in here, um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me move this over here. It's a, I mean, of course, you know, oxtails are greasy, but because of the amount, there's not enough rice in here to consume the oil. So it is a little bit greasy. So you might want to, with the amount of meat that's in here, you could probably split this up to a couple of meals and just add a little bit more rice or something so that, so that it doesn't feel like you're eating a lot of oil. No, it's not Worcester sauce. It's, um, uh, what's one of those sauces like, um, like an Asian flavor, but it's not quite, it's like she was trying to make a, uh, not a sweet and sour sauce, but it's, um, it's really popular. Mom, it's the meatballs, the flavor of meatballs you don't like, if you can tell me. <laughs> anyway, so, but it has a good flavor. You can tell that the sauce was handmade. It wasn't bought from a bottle. So, but this is a great quality for $7. Okay, so I got that, the cornbread. I'm gonna try not to finish eating that. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I got it something else so that you guys can try. Ooh, okay. All right, so she, this is a $5 meal. Can you guys believe this? This is the $5 small portion. This is the lasagna with the piece of cornbread. Now, of course, because I've traveled a little bit, it is um, sliding down a little. So let me let me get my other fork. Now, there's no way I'll be able to eat all this food right now. For five dollars, that is amazing. Now, I am a little mad that the cornbread is smaller in this plate than with the other one, but that's okay. So I'm going to take a little bite of this see how it goes and what's really cool she has the beef lasagna and she also has beef lasagna with pepperoni and then she uh, she also has some other options uh, this is her menu here so she does she also has all kinds of things i'll read over it for you let me just taste this lasagna now straight off you can see slices i mean little um shredded pieces of cheese now, I've never had that experience before where you can see the shredded cheese in there. So let me see. The reason I say that, because normally when you shred the cheese and by the time you cook it, you can't tell that it was shredded cheese. It's all melted in there. So this is interesting. So it has a nice cheesy covering. Can y'all see that? Cheesy covering on the lasagna. The sauce is good. It's not like, ooh, it's so great, but it's good. Teriyaki. I'm sorry, guys. Going back to the oxtails, it was a slight hint of a teriyaki taste, maybe mixed with something else. So, yes, thank you. Teriyaki, that's what it is. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> thank you, Mama. I appreciate that. Now, the lasagna, like I said, this is, it's really good. It's not, um, it's not the the world's greatest, but it's not bad at all. I would definitely order it again. I would definitely get it. Again, what I'm doing, I always try to check for all different, you know, for everyone. If you like your food, like really highly seasoned, it's, a, it's still good, but you might want to throw a little garlic powder, throw a little something on there. Uh, but if you are trying to be cautious and careful, this is perfectly seasoned for those that, especially that have high blood pressure, even sugar, because it doesn't seem like it's like a lot of sugar or anything in it. It actually, it's a tint, just a tint of sugar in it, but it's really, it's really good. I would go back there again. This is great value and great quality for $5. Can you believe that? <laughs> so, once again, I will give the cornbread, woohoo! I will give this cornbread five plus, five plus, five plus. 
I give the oxtails about a four. And it's on, and it's really cooked good. It's only because the amount of rice, and, and of course she can't give you pounds of rice for $7. And she's at a commercial place. Once again, this is at the um, Colonial Commons um, at the Colonial Park Mall. It's, I mean, at the, um, at the food court. So, I mean, this type of quantity and quality at the food court by a black owned business is amazing. So I would give it a four. It's really good and tasty. Some of you may give it a, a higher rating, but like I said, the, the amount of rice is just a little bit too much oil um, that you see, but it's really good. The lasagna is tasty. It's, you get plenty, the cheese, you know, it's, it's really nice. And you also get a piece of cornbread. So overall, I would give this um, four stars. It's five stars for the cornbread, four for the oxtails, and four for the lasagna. And not because it's bad or anything, <laughs> you know, but there's different levels. But um, I'm really happy about this spot. And also while I was there, there's another black owned business that's gonna open up there um, the middle of February. It's actually not food, it's a boutique. And um, I was speaking with the owners, it's three ladies. Um, I was speaking with the owners and they're saying that it's for all sizes. So I'm really excited. So Colonial Park Mall is really blowing up. And um, so I'll, I'll be checking it out as well. So this is again, this is called Miss Cotton's Cafe at the Colonial Park Mall. I would give it four stars. It's safe, it's, it's, it's very tasty, it's very clean. You can tell the food was, you know, there's no, nothing to make you feel nasty or sick. You know, sometimes you eat food and it just ugh, tastes good, but when you finish, you're not feeling too good. Um, I can see that that's not the taste. I mean, that's not the issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish enjoying my cornbread and y'all go over there and check it out and then hit me up, send me a little message and tell me what you think about it. All right, this is my time here. This is your girl Kay again from Harrisburg's Little Black Book and I'll see you soon.